right, here I am back in the clinic because I'm here for a treatment, so I've just had my shoulder loosened up, and I just want to run through a couple of exercises that are happening in the shoulder program for weeks sort of five through six. Now, you're still using a lot of band work. There's no strengthening yet. It is all passive and in passive assisted movement. Now, a little trick um, which I've stolen off a colleague of mine is when you do the flexion one, this is an alternative, so doing flexion like this, okay, can be quite hard sometimes. So you can actually use a pole, especially if you're out and about or you haven't got any pulleys around, you can use the, the wand or the pole to do your flexion. So what I mean is, what you can aim to do is try and keep this pole as close to your body as you can. So if I'm sort of facing you like that, and you slide the pole along your body like that, push through flexion. So if I've got my hand just resting on the end of the pole, I'm not going to grip it, I'm not going to try and lift it. So it's going to still be passive movement. There's some activity in there, but it's not strengthening. So you reach back here as far as you can and then push it up and slide it in that position. So you're sort of going through as much flexion as you can, staying in that plane straight out from your body like that. Now, I know you're in internal rotation. It's not as good as trying to maintain the external rotation, but you're going, if you've got a bit of a loss of external rotation, you're going to get much more range, and this is really going to help when you want to get high like that. When you're trying to get a little bit more range through flexion, you've got to be careful with this, though, and just slow it down and wait until you get that range at the top and don't push it too hard. Remember, you're not trying to be a hero and get too many, you know, records with this. You're just trying to get it loosened up each day. And this is a nice, easy one to do, morning, afternoon, night time. So there's your flexion one. Now, into weeks five and through week six, you're aiming for circumduction. Now, this one, you've got to be careful. You're trying to keep it not too active. So with your circle or circumduction movement like this, you've got to be careful at the top there, you're not lifting up too much into abduction. So down here is easy because you're into, you're not really using that supraspinatus too much, but trying to draw a circle like that with your finger nice and slowly. So you're not doing really fast um, sort of aggressive movements, you're actually trying to do a very controlled movement. And then when it's controlled like that, you know where your limits are. So sort of 10 one way and then 10 around the other way. So like I said, don't swing it fast. Try and control it. You're not trying to, you know, swing it like this because that's just two quick movements. And as the surgeons will say, avoid the quick movements. And this is where also throughout this week, getting to week six, the whole thing's loosening up quite well. You're a lot more capable. Like I can walk now without it and I've weaned out of the sling. I'm into week six, I'm weaning out of the sling. But when I walk, you know, this arm swing is okay. You just can't walk fast because the fast movement like that on that shoulder will be too much. So cardiovascular fitness has still got to be on the very low side. You're just trying to swing your arm um, carefully, maybe two or three kilometers at the most when you're walking around, um, but no quick movement. So this is my dominant arm. So when you're out and about, you've got to remind yourself you can't go and quickly move out into abduction. That's the worst thing you can possibly do. So always think twice. If it's your dominant arm, when you're about to reach for something, make sure it's your non-dominant arm that's doing the work. And whenever someone's, you know, if you're holding kids, hold them in the non-dominant arm when you're walking that sort of thing so they don't go and yank on your shoulder and give you some grief. So there's some tips for you today. And the last thing I wanted to show you today, which is starting in week six, is active assisted flexion with the wand. So this is just another flexion exercise. But it's a little bit different. So you gotta start at the start of the week, of week six, lying down. I wouldn't start standing up trying to do it because that's too much active movement. Do it lying down and you reduce the amount of activity that's going on in your shoulder. So for, you see you always gotta be careful when I get down, right? You always gotta think about it when you're getting down. So you don't go and put your arm out and wait bear through because you just can't do that. So. Be careful when you're getting down, but when you get into this position here, what you can do now, instead of doing this movement, which is the passive assisted, right, you can do an active assisted with the wand. Now, I wouldn't have it wide. I'd come quite close with the dot with the good arm. Come close with that. So this arm is getting lifted through the wand by your other hand. 
There is some activity, so it is active movement, but it's assisted by that. I hope that makes sense. So what I can do now is I can go carefully up in the flexion and go past 90 degrees in the sort of 120 at this stage here, and then come back, and that's really comfortable. No pain, no pulling, feels fine. But I'm really strong grip with my good arm, like that. So really strong grip and keeping it close together and really trying to relax and think about relaxing that injured arm or the surgical arm, really trying to relax that. That's a really nice way of getting some flexion range. It's range, but it's also trying to improve your active movement. Okay, so we're trying to get slowly closer and closer and closer to activity, to strengthening when we're allowed to. So that's a nice little segue into that. And then of course, by the end of the week, you're actually trying to do it like this, okay? I'm not starting that yet because it's not ready for it. So starting lower down and then moving to standing probably through week seven, eight. Okay, see you next time.